welcome back to Simple Machine. I'm Bree, the marketing coordinator here, and I'm sitting down with our president, Sean Morrison. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be continuing our vlog about the 20 tips for your 2020 marketing strategy. So this is part two, and if you watched part one, you know it was all about gearing up for 2020, the steps you need to take, and now this is part two where we're going to be talking about the actions you need to take. Um, and so we're going to be going over some different strategies that you can do in 2020 to really help your business grow. So the first one we're going to be talking about is lead generation. So can you tell us a little bit about how to generate leads and why this is a great strategy for 2020? Absolutely, yeah. Once you know we've gone through part number one of this uh, series here, you've understood, you've kind of get, gotten everything ready for your business, everything's in line, um, all geared up. And so what you need to do then is generate um, traffic, generate leads, generate sales. And so lead generation is obviously number one for taking action in 2020, um, generating new leads, generating uh, new business for your uh, sales funnel is really going to be helpful. And so we're going to start talking about uh, a few of the most popular um, online strategies to, um, to capture and, and generate leads. Yeah, absolutely. So um, next we want to talk about is Google AdWords for generating those leads and just how that is a surefire way to get your brand and products or services in front of the people you want to be attracting. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we're, we're very um, proud of our AdWords services here, proud of our Google partnership here at Simple Machine, and uh, we really pride ourselves with um, our ability to run Google AdWords campaigns for all of our clients from service companies to um, retail clients you know really can do a lot in Google AdWords and the beauty of it is it's it's immediate as soon as we set up your campaign your ads are online and they're in front of the correct people at the right time um, just based on all the targeting that's available the scheduling that's available um, just the, the freedom and control that you have with uh, AdWords or the Google Ads platform and so uh, also being a partner with Google you know we have uh, we have bi-weekly phone calls with our Google reps. We have quarterly reviews. So we're really you know, staying on top of our accounts here and really running uh, efficient and uh, powerful Google AdWords campaigns to help immediately drive new leads to your business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the next way you could generate leads is through social media. And so can you just tell us a little bit about why this is um, so impactful and the advertising options that social media holds? Definitely, yeah. You know, uh, over the years, really uh, recently, it's it's gone uh, been more rapid. Um, posting, you know, to Facebook, to Instagram, to the social media channels, your engagement, your your viewership uh, has really gone down um, as a business, especially. And so, um, advertising on social media is, is very important, and hitting those customers online, on social media, on their platforms where they're spending their most time is going to be very important. So in addition to AdWords, running advertisements that are targeted, you know, geographically, demographically, interest-based, whatever you need to do to identify your, um, your customer, uh, your audience that you defined after going through part number one, um, we can, you know, there, there's a ton of uh, ability to really identify and, um, you know, whatever channel or medium you need to within social media, target an ad um, to that user to help generate business. Yeah, it really does help so much. Um, and along with that, we can talk about how um, using video and live streaming is making a big difference. Absolutely. You know, stuff like just like this, a vlog, um, live streaming at an event, um, whatever it might be that your business does, you know, how can you introduce video? How can you how can you bring in video to explain what you're doing, to promote your services, to show your products in a better way? It's going to be very important and the live aspect of it is really going to be important coming into 2020. People want to see, you know, people are, are wanting to see what's happening right now and so the live aspect of video is very important. Um, but just you know, sharing videos is the most engaging um, piece of information, most engaging content you could distribute uh, at this point. And so, um, you know, really focus on adding that to your marketing arsenal if it's not already a part of it, or just kind of adding uh, to to that and making it uh, a very important uh, part of your strategy in 2020. Yeah, absolutely. So the next thing we wanted to mention um, was that your business can use messaging apps. So can you tell us a little bit um, about this? Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, being uh, being 
people are, are expecting your business to be available whenever they you know want you to be really and so utilizing messaging services and um, you know not making the customer pick up the phone or come in and uh, whatever it might be making them just you know allowing them to easily send a message uh, it doesn't have to be your full customer support but maybe a quick frequently asked uh, questions or whatever it might be you know allowing that to come through messaging uh, through your Facebook through your Facebook messenger through you know whatever it might be uh, you know a messenger on your a chat feature on your website you know it's it's important to have those types of things if you're going to be you know making sure that you're going to demand them appropriately and correctly um, will help your customers know that you're around you're there for them and that you have that support and customer service that you're they're, they're looking for yeah it's really all about customer service and improving and offering that and um, we have a whole nother blog all about cost customer service if you all want to check that out um, but another thing we want to mention is um, email marketing and just not to forget that because it's yeah. such an important thing definitely yeah it's one of the oldest things to do but you know if you're doing it correctly utilizing uh, MailChimp cost of contact a service like that to you know create a great looking template that really promotes your business your services your information your products um, keeping that alive keeping that customer retention customer engagement um, going on a weekly monthly basis whatever it might be email is an extremely uh, easy and, and nice way to uh, just keep your business top of mind with people and it's you know a very affordable way to uh, to do that yeah absolutely so we've mentioned a lot of um, advertising things how to get in front of your customers and um, just to get your business out there and so we want to talk about now why you should be um, using free samples and demos to promote product awareness with all of these ads yeah definitely so um, you know one of the things to get engagements with these ads is to offer a free sample free demo free uh, consultation whatever it might be to um, get that engagement on your ad so offering coming up with a demo how can we give a preview of what we offer to these people out there as they're viewing you know, on their device um, how can we give them a preview to really get that engagement from our ads and make our ads um, convert into sales we can give them a preview of what we offer in and in a nice you know quick easy way um, they're going to take action because they're going to want whatever we're promoting if it's uh, if it's relevant to them which with the the uh, audience targeting and everything like that you know it should be uh, relevant for them yeah absolutely so next we want to tap into a few different ways where your business can really stand out in 2020 and how you know the marketing uh, landscape and everything is changing all the time on the internet and so we want to talk a little bit about how you can um, boost user experience through um, AR and VR. So can you tell us what these stand for and how that can boost user experience? Yeah, um, yeah, there's all kinds of new technologies coming out. Um, the two that Bree just mentioned, augmented reality AR and virtual reality, virtual reality VR. Businesses are starting to use them and incorporate them into their um, customer experiences. And so think of ways how you can, um, you know, how just like we were talking about with um, the previous uh, thing, you know, how can we increase the user experience and everything like that. Um, with AR and VR, you can add um, maybe an in-store experience through, you know, without allowing the user to step in your store. Maybe they can try on a t-shirt or uh, see what shoes will look like in a different color. You know, these types of things have been around, but incorporating them into your website, into your online experience will really help the the customers really engage with um, your brand, engage with your product or your service using the augmented reality or virtual reality um, to, you know, from a different uh, experience. And you know, they don't have to call, they don't have to step in the store, they don't have to do anything from the comfort of their own home. They can try on your product, uh, whatever it might be, and uh, really get that experience um, through technology that's available today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so continuing on that idea, and lastly, we just want to talk about um, how you can embrace artificial intelligence and reality-altering um, content. So can you tell us a little bit about that and how that continues that idea? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's just just along those same lines. You know, um, you know, utilizing technology that's available to you is going to help your business and. You know, having all of these things that we've mentioned, all of these platforms, definitely reaching out to a company uh, like us at Simple Machine to help you run these marketing platforms and help you um, unload some of these um, 
marketing channels that you need to keep up with, uh, but also utilizing artificial intelligence, you know, utilizing chatbots or utilizing um, programs to help uh, your customers gain information and gain experience without having to talk to an actual individual and, you know, or people are starting to, you know, have self-driving vehicles and really going over the top with that. And so, um, you know, you don't have to go that far with it, but how can you kind of free up your manpower utilizing and automating some of the tasks that happen within your business? Yeah, absolutely. So we hope you enjoyed this two-part vlog. We'll link the entire article down below so you can just read through it. Um, and if you want to learn more about these strategies that we've mentioned, um, or if you want to start implementing them, give us a call. We're here to help. Um, and stay tuned for more videos just like this. Thanks guys. We appreciate you watching. Thanks.